to the middle school. I'm your host for HMS Today, William Amundsen, and I cannot believe how much stuff we have today. But first, please allow me to read an email we got this week. You guys are awesome. This is like our very first fan mail. Thanks, Ryan. We definitely know you are awesome. Why don't you stop by the main office? Mrs. McBride has something for you from all of us here. All of us here at HMS TV. Now on to Mr. Kelliger for middle school update. Good morning, HMS. Some of you may have noticed students walking about the school yesterday carrying backpacks. Students on the grade seven silver team are taking part in a pilot program. A pilot program, in case you're not familiar with the term, is a short term experiment that helps determine if something can work on a large scale. In this case, we're looking to see what the impact of carrying backpacks at HMS would be. I've invited Jessica Einel to talk about the pilot. Come on over, Jessica. So uh, when I talked to Ms. Sloan about this, she pointed the finger at you and said uh, you pushed for this idea. So can you talk a little bit about what you're looking to accomplish? Well, I really, I've been at the middle school for two years now, and I've had to maneuver my way through many difficult hallway situations plenty of times. And a lot of the times, especially during lunch and during like switching classes, the hallways are very crowded and it's hard to like not even to like get to your class, but to also get all of your binders out of your locker while people are trying to get in front of you and like behind you and all that stuff. So I think backpacks would make it a whole lot easier to get to class on time and have all your stuff. Thanks. So what do you think that you'll learn in these three weeks that we're taking a look at this? Well, I think it will we'll learn that having backpacks will be a lot easier because um, when you have to carry around like three binders for all your classes, um, I know some people who have their lockers far away from a lot of their classes and they have to carry like if to balance three binders, a water bottle and a lunch bag all while trying to not get shoved over by the crazy crowds in the hallway. So I think you'll learn to make, um, I think what we learn will be to make that backpack to make the hallways a lot easier. All right. And so anytime we take something on, there's always risks. And so uh, in this situation, what do you think some of the challenges might be with carrying backpacks? Um, I think backpacks are very big. So we do have sort of small hallways. So the backpacks could add to the amount of like stuff in the hallway and it could make it harder to get by. But I also think with the backpacks, the amount of people at their lockers taking up that space will be limited. So I think it's mostly a good idea. Great. Well, thanks, Jessica. Thanks for uh, pushing in this, uh, this pushing us on this idea. We look forward to seeing how it goes. Okay. Thanks to Jessica and all members of the Silver Team for your willingness to try this out and inform the rest of the school. I look forward to seeing the results and determining where we go from here. Thank you, Mr. Keller and Jessica. Let's move right along to question of the day. Today we did a little experiment. We told people, here is your five seconds of fame, go. Hi there, I am Joe. I am on every HMS TV. All right, uh, three, two, one. All right, we're rolling, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so my name is... Uh, five seconds of fame. Oh, is it starting? Being eaten by a shark. Getting 100K on Madam Mobile. Whoa, I'm in this cameo. An obvious reference. Da, 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 da. I'm better than all of you. <laughs> Text in. <laughs> and good morning, HMS TV. Okay, this is me, Lydia Ronan, and that's Natalie. And Natalie Calkins. And we hope you have a great HMS day. I am standing here with a microphone. Make sure to make the dab great again, as Mr. Carney says. Hi, people. Hey, fam. I don't know what we're doing. So. <laughs> um, Rubik's cubes are dumb now, and make the dab great again. I like to sing, dance, and one plus one equals three. Yep. That was good. We'll have to do that one again sometime. Now we bring you Mr. Rockwood with the famous Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Today, I have a challenge for you. The challenge is to see how many words, common words in the English language that you can make out of the word snowball. I've come up with 38. Let's see how many you can come up with. Send me your list at my email address, crockwood at hopkinton.k12.ma.us. I'll even get you started. 
Make sure to allow yourself sufficient time to complete your list and make it a great day. Be kind to one another and enjoy your education. Good luck, everyone. I'm already up to two words. Now it's time for the HMS poll. We asked people, should cell phones be allowed in school? 55 people said yes. Three people said no. Is anybody surprised? All right, that brings us to birthday. Here we go with the birthday scroll. it's time for have you seen this and good job last week we got six correct answers since we will not have a new photo for this week we're going we are going to go ahead and give all six of you pri a prize congratulations see mrs mcbride in the main office for your prize have you seen this will return next week that's all we have for today so remember to email us at hmstv at hillers.org with interview suggestions question suggestions or even to tell us how cool we are we're doing or what we should be doing and see all our stuff at www.hk TV slash HMS TV. Now get out there and study hard.